Good afternoon, greetings, and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. What a beautiful day today is. Actually, it's a beautiful day because we are present right here, right now. And it doesn't matter what the weather is outside. <clears throat> uh, forgive me, for I am just getting over a cold. So my voice is hoarse, and I may sound um, nasally or nasally. <laughs> nasally. <laughs> Well, this is the beginning of uh, a great video, isn't it? Talk about Heal Talk Tuesdays. Uh, it's uh, it's I, what I'm going through is healing myself, my body. So it's so beautiful just to be present and know that no matter what you do to be perfect, there are no perfections. There are no perfections in life. We are what we are. We're human. We make mistakes. We are vulnerable. We cry. We argue. So today's topic was going to be, who are we? How do we introduce ourselves? So allow me to start all over again. Greetings. This is Lisa. And welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. I am here every single Tuesday at noon, rain or shine, perfect or not, to help you heal within, either with words of uh, empowerment, inspiration, uh, affirmations, or talking about a subject that may be either focused on a health issue, uh, from weight to smoking to IBS to anger management to anxiety and we're just talking about wellness in general body image and how we like ourselves because every single thing no matter what we talk about no matter what we want to change in life starts with building self-esteem when we value ourselves, when we feel good about ourselves, we feel good in our body. And when we feel good about ourselves in our body, then we get thoughts and the thoughts become more positive. And the more positive we become, we get to do more things that makes us happy. And what makes us happy, we like to do more. And the more we do that, we feel good. See how wonderfully it goes into this beautiful circle. I want to thank each of every one of my viewers, especially the two who are here. My biggest supporter, Becky, incredible website designer, and Madam Janet Crane, um, one of the wonderful hypnotherapists that I know who is present right here viewing. I believe in the we. And what I say we is about collaboration. I put an event together, it's called the 3E, once a year. And come 2018, I'm already planting the seeds because we're gonna have our sixth annual 3E coming up in about six months. But the collaboration in, la in life is the people we know, the people we trust, the ones that we want to work with, and the ones who not only are good for themselves, about the I, but they also make a difference and impact other people's lives. So the subject from, for today was, who are we? When we come to introduce ourselves, what do we say? Hello, my name is Lisa Bubari. I, what? And I will get back to, at the end, discussing how I introduce myself. I remember my girlfriend's brother telling this story over and over, that when I was a little girl and we were at an oceanfront and 
the whole group, families, and everyone got together, and I had never met him, that the first time that I met him, I went, Hello, my name is Lisa, and my last name is Wubari, and I love the ocean, because we were at the ocean front. See, as children, we are so loving, we are so direct, and we just say what's in our heart, and we, we love to share about who we are. And being a little girl, it's probably about your Barbies, your dolls, and everything. And boys are about their toys, maybe cars and guns and tractors. And they talk about their ninja or the games they love. Hey, I've got clients, little boys, that I say, so what's your favorite? And they tell me all about these games that they love to pay, play. Of course, I don't know any of the games because I do not have a child of my own. And girls talk about fashion. They talk about Britney Spears if they are more into the teenage years. And they talk about their dolls. We forget as we grow up that how we want to conform and fit into what other people want us to be and so we introduce ourselves. Hello, my name is Lisa Bubari. And if I am in middle school, it's like, oh, I love my classes. Don't you love this teacher? This teacher is absolutely wonderful. In high school, it was, uh, hi, my name is Lisa. I belong to this PE team. I am the co-captain of the volleyball team in college. Hi, my name is Lisa, and I love being in Pasadena City College because of all the curriculums, and I'm studying social services and want to be an attorney. You come to, a, you know, it's like constantly. We get to work, and we conform into our work. What do you do? I'm a paralegal. What do you do? I'm an attorney. What do you do? I'm a CPA. So. Hello, my name is Jack Devron. I'm a CPA. Really? So by associating with those labels, we box ourselves to who we are. And we forget the little boy, the little girl inside that used to love the Ninja Warriors. Now I watch the Ninja Warriors. I've never had an icon on TV or anything. By growing up, I remember watching Bonanza. I watched all these uh, cowboy movies. And believe it or not, I even have pictures. I used to have guns and a cowboy hat, and I wanted to be a cowgirl. And that was age probably five or six. So we come to resonate with what becomes our mentor, what becomes the things we look up to. And God forbid, we become unique and afraid of what? We become afraid of criticism and being judged. Oh, if I don't conform to this and if I go out of the box, people are going to be talking about me. They're going to be criticizing me. Your hair is long. Your hair is short. Your hair is this. You know what? The best thing to be is you and it doesn't matter who you are if you have a tattoo by golly show off your tattoo 10 people may not like it 90 people will comment about your tattoos and say whoa I love that tattoo where did you get that tattoo every part of who we are we like to we suppress we suppress that the best part of who we are. And every time we suppress, every time we conform, we're just putting a lid and dissing a part of us. Does that make sense? If it makes sense, just show me an emoji and yes, Sylvia, let them criticize. <laughs> exactly. Um, this is exactly what happens 
I truly believe we get into this depressed mode and depression because we suppress so much of emotion. Wow, that right. <laughs> um, and that's what it is. Constantly shove, shove it down. And instead of expressing it, speaking it so you express it and you speak it and you show up and you stand up um, and if you're a mother if you're an aunt if you are a colleague or if you are a teacher allow your children to speak allow them to communicate what's in their heart what's in their psyche everything just be amazed at who they are and especially when they get into their teen years. Teens become more judging and criticizing of themselves. They become more in tune of their own body and think that their body is not good enough. It's not conforming to the media or it's not conforming to the Joneses or the Joneses family, the Joneses neighbors, the Joneses kids. And we grow up doing the same thing. And frankly, it doesn't matter if we are girls or boys. Boys have their own different pressures as we grow up. We know men have different pressures in life and expectations. And women have different expectations. And we overwhelm ourselves. And we beautify ourselves to be liked to be wanted, to be cherished, to be loved. We want to be unique, and yet we are afraid to be unique. So who are you? If you are a web designer, I think you are a creator of other people's imagination. You create who they are. If you are a social worker, you are the person that helps and bridges from where they need to be, from where they are to where they need to be by helping them and showing them the techniques, the ways to do it legally. So I believe each one of us can create this beautiful imagery of how we can describe who we are if we only tap into the little girl and little boy inside us how we used to describe who we are when we were very young what aspirations did we have growing up yesterday i was doing a talk for a pta and there was 17 women there and after my talk this wonderful mom came to me and said, is it possible that when you are up with 1,000 or 2,000 people and they do this rah, rah, rah imagery and you're looking around everyone and so many people are so in tune with that imagery and wanting this incredible things and you're sitting and you cannot see anything? I said, of course. Here's why. Because you may be auditory first versus visual. And if they are painting this visual and rah, rah, rah success and you are not in tune with that level or you can't even visualize it, it's because the words that they are using, it's mostly about painting that picture instead of using the words that resonate with you emotionally. You see, every introduction we do, in order for us to make an impact and connect with someone, either from work or personally, either at party or to get a job, it's about how you like me, how we bond with each other, and how you believe that when I speak to you, I hold a safe space for you, that your information, that what you reveal is there only for that hour. 
And no matter what you say, we create a safety. And I treat you as a whole, not one issue. So we come to this sense of belonging at that very moment. Just the same way as we belong on this time at this very moment together. And we belong to either a church or an organization, a book club. You know, we all want to belong. We want to fit in. We want to conform. In a way. And still hold on to our own identity. And I believe that's most of what teenagers struggle. Most of us struggle with the same thing. And we're afraid to show our true identity because we're afraid of being judged. Today, I started for not being perfect. And I even rhyme stuff. And we can think of so many things in our life that it's about time we evoke and it's about time we embrace who we are with all of us, all of who we are, my body as it is. Yes, I have gained some weight and it's okay. I call winter times, times for hibernation. And, uh, but it doesn't change who I am. That number on the scale does not depict who I am. It's just a measuring factor, which goes up and down and up and down. And I can use my self-hypnosis to reduce it. And so can you. So everything that you do from today, how about only for today, just for today, you introduce yourself and practicing Practice introducing yourself, either in front of the mirror or with someone, or when you pick up the phone, instead of saying hello and your name, or just hello, how are you, just say, did you do anything interesting today? And they're going to say, uh, no. Well, you just did. You talked to me. You know, I mean, how fun would that be? I know it's quirky. But sometimes being quirky, being out of the box, being you, or being just different, it puts a smile not only on your face, it can put a smile on someone else's face. And believe it or not, that little young version of you will start giggling because you did something that is playful and you had not played in a while. I don't know. Maybe you did play. Maybe you did go for a run. But you go for a run every single day. If you meditate, you meditate every day. How about right in the middle of doing something, you get up and you do a jiggy, jiggy, jiggy. You shift, you shift attitude. I know they'll turn around and say, where did that come from? And I'm not talking about in the middle of something serious. But it is when you are with yourself or when you are with someone and you just want to break the ice in saying hello. In life, we do things over and over, over and over to change a habit, right? And that's what happens. I have this formula of 33 days of doing something over and over to change a habit. But when we look back and we realize that it's the habits that feel good, feel good in our body, feel good in our heart, feel good in every aspect of us that we move towards to, that becomes the change we love. So, okay, uh, I'm looking over here. Some people are saying they played just an hour ago. Yes, do something spontaneous. Hello, Amy. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, Marie-Louise. Oh, my precious Alice, the lady, my, my mentor, 
this is one person I look up to that I truly believe I would love to grow up to be as graceful and giving as Alice Petrosian. Thank you for being a part of my life and accepting me being a part of your life and just the way I am. Every single one of us, it doesn't matter what color we are, what size we are, how educated or not as educated we are. It's about who we are, how we show up in life, how we stand up, not only for ourselves, but with others. How we hold a hand and say, I am here for you. And instead of suppressing, we express. We peel away the layers to unveil and become free of conforming to other people's expectations, Education is good. Leadership is good. And meeting expectations is awesome. As long as you're not dissing who you are. As long as you're not putting a lid on your joy to make someone else happy. When we tap inside our subconscious mind, where all the information is stored. And we know that we can change behaviors. We can shift habits instantaneously. And just as I practice self-hypnosis and numbing my gums to do a root canal, it's numbing the gums. And it's knowing exactly how the Needle goes inside my mouth, how many cc's they put in because I have a visual aspect of that. And I know that as it goes, it will go into my vein, into the gums, and it spreads and it creates this tingling, numbing sensation. I truly connected, I embody that numbing, and soon my gums are numb. Not all of it only local to that point and see that's the magic of self-hypnosis when we become so precise that we can numb it only here and not here and that's how precisely you can tap within yourself and find your own passion your own magic of the little girl, of the little boy, of who you are. Today, I will close by this. Greetings, this is Lisa. Every single Tuesday, I show up and stand up for you to guide you into evoking what was, embracing what is, and evolving to what you want to be. Because you are more than enough. You matter. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Sylvia. Everything is good as long as it defines who we are and not falsely portrays. I hope that my little introduction uh, gave you a way that you can now change your own introductions and make your introductions unique and be playful with your introduction. You know, so much of us wear masks. We do. We wear a mask with patients or clients. We wear a mask when we're in the store. We wear a mask 
with uh, when we are a dog, when we are not a dog. <laughs> okay, <laughs> when we are playing with our dogs. Uh, <laughs> And I can't even say and blame it to my cold because, uh, you know, it's just bloopers in life. Of course, this is live and it's not being recorded for me to say, oops, you know, come back to a blooper. But it would be great for me to go back and have someone take all my bloopers and turn my bloopers into here's the perfect image of heal with it right ah oh, isn't this wonderful life is about every emotion in life the perfections how you make your face and your hair and your body and everything perfect and then the bloopers in life so I guess today's message is peel away the layers, be who you are, and enjoy your life's bloopers. Have an incredible journey. Hopefully this Heal Talk Tuesday was beneficial for you, being unique in who you are. And until next Tuesday, God bless you.